Hello friends, welcome in this video session of heat transfer subject. We are in unit number 3. In today's video lecture, we are going to learn relationship between fluid friction and heat transfer. My name is Mr. S. V. Kumbha, Assistant Professor, Sharad Institute of Technology College of Engineering, Yadra, Itzal Karanchi. So, we will start with a relationship between fluid friction and heat transfer. That equation is known as Reynolds and Colburn analogy. So, in fluid mechanics, we have studied the formula for tau, that is Newton's law of viscosity, tau is equal to mu du upon dy. So, Reynolds analogy is the interrelationship between fluid friction and Newton's law of viscosity. So, according to Newton's law of viscosity, tau is equal to mu du upon dy. Let's say it's equation 1. Also, the heat transfer through conduction Q is equal to minus Ka dt upon dy considering heat flow along y direction. This is Fourier equation. This is Newton's law of viscosity. Right? Now, in last video lecture, we have studied Prandtl's number. Prandtl's number is given as mu Cp upon K. And when Prandtl's number is unity, then we can get mu Cp upon K is equal to 1. That is, K upon mu is equal to Cp. We will get this relation when Prandtl number is unity, temperature and velocity profile are identical for most of the gases. That relation for Prandtl's number is Prandtl's number is greater than 0.6, but it is less than 1. So combine equation 1, second, third, we will get Q is equal to here minus K is replaced by this. K is equal to mu Cp, right? Or this mu we can replace in this equation first, right? So we will get Q is equal to minus Cp A tau naught dt upon du, right? So this mu or mu Cp is equal to K, the value of K is replaced as mu Cp and the value of mu is replaced as tau naught into dy into du. This mu is written here and du upon dy is shifted to left hand side. So, it will become mu is equal to tau naught dy upon du. Replace this relation here. We will get minus Cp A tau naught dt upon du. Now, separating the variable and integrating within the limits. At the plate surface, u is equal to 0 and t is equal to Ts. That is at plate surface, velocity of fluid becomes 0 and the temperature becomes surface temperature and at the outer edge of boundary layer u is equal to bend stream velocity capital u and temperature t is t infinity so integrating this equation within this limit we will get q upon cp a tau naught these are the constant term which is taken outside the integration term so integration from 0 to u du which is equal to minus integration from Ts to T infinity dt. Remember, surface temperature is greater than surrounding temperature. Right? So, integration of du is u and the limit is from 0 to u. So, higher limit is u, capital U and lower limit is 0. So, Q is equal to Cp A tau naught u minus 0 that is u which is equal to integration of dt is t so higher limit is t infinity lower limit is t s so take this negative term we will get t s minus t infinity therefore q upon a t s minus t infinity this t s minus t infinity is taken here and this tau naught this tau naught cp upon u it is taken here right so q upon a T s minus T infinity which is equal to H x and tau naught is equal to 
सी एफ एक्स इंटू वन अपॉन टू रो यू स्क्वायर मेकिंग दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन इन इक्वेशन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस इज द स्किन फ्रिक्शन दिस इज स्किन फ्रिक्शन वी हैड स्टडीड इन कॉम्प्रेसिबल फ्लो इन फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स सो रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ टाउन आउट बाय सी एफ एक्स वन अपॉन टू रो यू स्क्वायर सो एच एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एक्स वन अपॉन टू रो यू स्क्वायर इन टू सी पी अपॉन यू विच इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एक्स अपॉन टू रो सी पी यू और एच एक्स अपॉन रो सी पी यू इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एक्स अपॉन टू सो दिस इक्वेशन इज डायमेंशनलेस फॉर्म एंड दिस इक्वेशन इज नोन एज स्टैंड ऑन नंबर दैट वी हैड ऑलरेडी लर्न इन अर्लियर लेक्चर स्टैंड ऑन नंबर रिप्रेजेंट नसल्ट नंबर डिवाइडेड बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रेनोल्स नंबर एंड प्रैंडल्स नंबर सो एन यू एक्स अपॉन आर ई एक्स दैट इज रेनोल्स नंबर अलॉन्ग एक्स डायरेक्शन इन टू प्रैंडल्ट नंबर इज इक्वल टू स्टैंड ऑन नंबर विच इज इक्वल टू सी एफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टू वेर सी इज स्किन कोइफिशियंट and this is the relationship between fluid friction and heat transfer this derivation they may ask for 6 marks of turbulent boundary layer heat transfer in earlier video lecture we have studied the formation of turbulent boundary layer so some of the important relation for fully developed turbulent flow that is reynolds number less greater than 2300 through pipe and conduit are given as the velocity distribution is equal to u upon u max which is equal to y upon r raised to 1 by n where u is the local velocity u max is the velocity at center line capital r is the radius of pipe and y is the distance from wall which is given by capital r minus small r and the head loss is given as hl is equal to dp upon rho which is equal to F L U square upon 2 G, where F is the friction factor, U bar is the average velocity, which is equal for turbulent flow. In case of turbulent flow through tube, it is difficult to derive simple analytical expression for heat transfer coefficient and Nusselt number, but such expression can be easily found out by using empirical relation. Now, few empirical relations are given. so the friction factor for turbulent flow is represented from following empirical relation f is equal to 0.316 reynolds re number raised to minus 0.25 and this relation can be used when reynolds number is greater than 2 into 10 raised to 4 and less than 8 into 10 raised to 4 f friction factor f is equal to 0.184 Reynolds number raised to point minus point two, and this relation is applicable to Reynolds number greater than ten raised to four and less than ten raised to five. This friction factor F is equal to zero point zero zero five plus zero point three nine six Reynolds number raised to point three, and this equation can be applied for Reynolds number. Is greater than two into ten raised to four and less than two into ten raised to six. Second important empirical relation: the wall shear stress. So tau W is equal to F upon eight rho U max square, where F is the friction factor, which can be used from this empirical relation. For that purpose, we have to calculate Reynolds number. This is the Reynolds number zone. Rho is the density. U max is the maximum velocity of fluid. So from Kolbe analogy, when Prandtl number is greater than 0.5 and less than 100, so Stanton number into Prandtl number raised to 2 by 3 is equal to F upon 8. Substituting this value of F from 7.47 in 7.150, we will get Stanton number into Prandtl number raised to 2 by 3. Just replace the value of F, which has 0.184 Reynolds number raised to minus 0.2 upon 8, but Stanton number is nothing but Nusselt number divided by Prandtl number into Reynolds number. So Prandtl number raised to 2 by 
0.184 upon 8 array raised to minus 0.2. So nusselt number is equal to 0.023, Reynolds number raised to 0.8, Prandtl's number raised to 1 by 3, and H is equal to nusselt number into K upon D. As nusselt number is equal to H L upon K or H D upon K. So just we have replaced the value for nusselt number by H D upon K and H is calculated by this N U into K upon D. So further this relation is modified as 0.023 K upon D RE raised to 0.8 Prandtl's number raised to 1 by 3. This expression is valid for Reynolds number greater than 1 into 10 raised to 4 and less than 1 into 10 raised to 5 and Prandtl number greater than 0.5 but less than 100 and L by T is, is greater than 60. The properties of fluids are evaluated at film temperature. So film temperature Tf is equal to surface temperature plus ambient temperature divided by 2. Film temperature is nothing but it is the average of surface temperature and ambient temperature. We will solve a numerical based on this. This is first example, a tube 5 meter long is maintained at 100 degrees centigrade by steam jacketing. A fluid flows through the tube at a rate of 2940 kg per hour at 30 degrees centigrade. The diameter of tube is 2 cm. Find out average heat transfer coefficient. Take following properties of fluid. Rho is equal to 850 kg per meter cube. Cp 2000 joule per kg degree centigrade nu is 5.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter square per second and k is 0.12 watt per meter degree centigrade. The solution. So try to identify the given data. A tube 5 meter long means length is given as 5 meter. It is maintained at a temperature of 100 degree centigrade by steam jacketing fluid flows through a tube at a rate of 2940 kg per hour that is mass flow rate is given the tube is 2 cm in diameter that is converted in meter 0 0.02 meter and we have to determine average heat transfer coefficient h bar so nusselt number is equal to h d upon k or nusselt number can be also given by h l upon k where H is convective heat transfer coefficient that is the question here average heat transfer coefficient D is the diameter of tube if external flow is there then consider characteristic length and K is thermal conductivity of that material so Nusselt number the relation is Nusselt number is equal to 0.023 Reynolds number raised to pointed Prandtl's number raised to 1 by 3 this relation can be used only when Reynolds number is greater than 2300. Now first of all, we have to calculate Reynolds number. Reynolds number is equal to rho Vd upon mu. So rho is given as 850, put it here. Cp is given 2000. Nu is given 5.1 into 10 raised to minus 6. And K is given. So find out Reynolds number by this equation or this equation. This is the modification of first equation. When you take this rho to denominator, it will become nu. Right. So U D upon nu, the mass flow rate per second is given as 2940 kg per hour. So this kg per hour is calculated in meter per second as 2940 kg divided by 3600 second, which is equal to pi D pi pi by 4 D square U rho, which is equal to pi by 4 0 0.02 into 850V. So remember this equation mass flow rate M is equal to rho V into area. Mass flow rate M is equal to rho into A into Q. Right. So mass flow rate is given. Area is given. V is also given. Uh, sorry. V we have to calculate. Area is given. Calculate V. V as 3.06 meter per second square. So Reynolds number is calculated as 3.0 
meter per second d is 0 0.02 that is diameter of this pipe and nu is 5.1 into 10 raised to minus 6 so reynolds number is 1.2 into 10 raised to 4 as the reynolds number is greater than 2300 so we can use this equation nusselt number is equal to 0 0.023 reynolds number raised to 0.8 prandtl numbers raised to 1 by 3 First of all, we will calculate Nusselt number and after finding out Nusselt number, we will find out average heat transfer coefficient. Use this relation. So, H bar into, directly we had used this relation, H bar into diameter 0 0.02. The value of K is 0 0.12 which is given here, which is equal to 0 0.023 into Reynolds number just we have calculated 1.2 into 10 raised to 4 raised to 0.8 into branded number branded number here that is 72.3 raised to 0 0.033 which is nearly equal to 1.75 where branded number is mu cp upon k this branded number is calculated by this relation 72.3 here and h bar is 1052.8 watt per meter square degree centigrade or 1.0152 kilowatt per meter square degree centigrade so in this manner you have to first determine reynolds number if reynolds number is greater than 2300 then and then use this relation nussel number is equal to 0.023 reynolds number raised to 0.8 prandtl's raised to 1 by 3 so in this way you have to solve numerical based on this for this moment thank you thank you very much